So God never asked you to love someone at the expense of yourself. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Owe McMahon. In today's video, I want to speak about three ways to stop thinking about someone who does not love you back. If you've ever been in a place that you love someone that does not love you back, you would realize that this is a love lick. You literally feel like you are being tormented. There is a feeling of pain, of grief, of shame that you can't even shake because the love you have for this person is real, but then the reciprocity of this love is not there. If you remain in such a situation, you could be used, manipulated, abused, and hurt. At some point, your lover had professed love to you. They've showed you love. As time progresses, you feel like they are not loving you back. The love is not there. So at such a point, it's crazy because you're confused. Did this person really love me? It's ravaging your soul. It's depleting you. It's making you unhappy. So what do you do to stop thinking about this person? The number one way to stop thinking about this person is to address the issue from your heart and not to avoid the issue. When you love someone who does not love you back, you still have a glimmer of hope to try to love them the more if things will change. But the truth is, if someone does not love you, they don't. And you need to come to a place of addressing this issue from your heart instead of avoiding the issue. Don't try to make light of the issue and tell yourself, I'll be fine. Having a lover who does not love you back makes you feel abandoned, makes you feel unwanted. And this feeling of abandonment could really affect all areas of your life and productivity. Toying with this and not addressing this will actually put you down in depression. So it is for you to tell yourself the truth. Yes, I love this person. Admit that you made a mistake because at this point you start blaming yourself. Why did I love this person? Yes, you love them because it is how you felt. Because you saw something in them that you loved, that caught your fantasy. So admit that you love them and quit blaming yourself for being foolish in loving because you actually loved so much that you could not see the red flags. You compromise on red flags, which now you are complaining about. Yes, you made a mistake. Admit the mistake. You know, the error that we make sometimes in life is trying to fix our mistake or to repay our mistakes. By the time you try to repay a mistake, you make more mistakes. So what you do with your mistakes is not to feel the regrets and allow the regrets to ravage you. It's actually for you to admit that I made a mistake. And from here, you want to do things right. What is the right thing to do? You made a mistake? Yes. You still love them? Yes. They don't love you back? Yes. That's the starting point. It's a hard truth to tell yourself. The number two way to stop thinking about this person is not to try to forget them. The goal is not to try to stop thinking about them. So I know you would ask, what do I do then? The truth of this is you are trying to stop your mind from thinking because you're like, they are the only thought that is in your mind and you don't want to think about them. Why are you not able to stop thinking about them by trying to forget them? It's because you have so much memories with this person. If you guys had loved at some point, there are so many good memories, things that were precious to you. You're telling yourself, stop thinking about this. Stop thinking about this. The more you think about it because all the memories will flood your mind, both good and bad. And before you know, you are confused. Your mind was made for thoughts and for thinking. So it's a realm that flows with thoughts consciously and unconsciously. So you cannot at any point stop yourself from thinking totally. The thing you do is to redirect your thoughts. Yes, you've been thinking about this person. What you do is not to stop thinking about them. What you do is to redirect your thoughts to something else. Each time the thought of this person crosses your mind, you redirect that thought to something else. You could redirect the thought to yourself. Is this thing healthy for me? Is this helping me? Think about your future. Am I going to keep on living like this? Start thinking about other things. Redirect your mind from that focus because your mind only works with what you feed it with. It takes a process of you allowing time for you to heal from these thoughts because you cannot erase all the memories you've had with the person. If you try to erase the memory, you lose yourself in the process. You are to heal the memory. The scripture says in Philippians, summing it all up, friends, I'd say you do best by filling your minds and meditating on things true, noble, reputable, authentic, compelling, gracious, the best, not the worst, the beautiful, not the ugly, things to praise, not things to cause. You have to start thinking about true things about yourself. Start thinking about the joyful memories of what you can do with your life, how productive you can make your life become with or without this person in your life. The number three way 
to stop thinking about this person is not for you to stop loving them or try to hate them, but it's for you to understand what love energy is. The fact is that you've already loved this person. If you try to stop loving them, you always find yourself loving them the more. If you try to hate them, hate is a lower power than love. So the love will always overwhelm the hate you can even try to build for this person. So that's why you might find it difficult to even hate this person. You can't even hate them right. Why did you even get to this place of loving this person at the expense of yourself? And the truth is for someone that did not experience the love energy from the parents, from friends, and do not even learn the fourth one, which is the self-love energy. It's hard for you to really be able to have a healthy love energy with a lover. Because at this point, you are empty of love and then you found someone whom you feel love towards and then you are pumping all your love energy to them. It's very unhealthy to think that Loving someone that doesn't love you back, if you try to stop loving them and love someone else that you will heal from them, you will not. You are broken. You repeat the same cycle. Even if you break up in a relationship and move to another relationship and meet someone else, you repeat the same pattern. You are always pumping love energy because you don't have any love at the base. And the scripture says, love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul, which is with everything. Then love your neighbor as yourself. You can apply this in your love relationship. For you to be able to have a basis of healthy love, it's best that you know that you should find unconditional love for yourself first. And if you are already in a situation that you did not find unconditional love for yourself, you didn't find it at home, you were empty of love, it's very easy to get to a place of loving someone whom you see signs they don't love you back and then you still keep pushing, thinking that if I love them the more, that they will come to realize and love me too. And it does not work. If you are already here in this place of you made the mistake, yes, you've made the mistake, admit the mistake. Don't try to stop loving them because it's a love you gave. The concept of energy scientifically says that energy can neither be created nor destroyed, but it can be transformed from one form to another. So this is a love energy. It's an energy you've given it Yes, you did not create it, but you felt it for this person because something about them attracted you to them. The truth right now is for you to know that I cannot destroy this energy for this person. It really hurts to feel that way that you can't destroy it and now you've given it to them and they don't deserve your love. Yeah, you've already given it to them. They don't deserve it. It's now a point for you to know this energy can't be destroyed, but I can transform it. I can convert it. I can transfer it. Start loving yourself. And the best way to love yourself is to launch back to a genuine love from your father in heaven as a believer and receive the real love from him. And this is real love. Not that we love God, but that he loved us and gave himself as a propitiation for our sins. If you can receive this real love, you can now come to a place of loving yourself, value yourself, consider yourself precious and stop talking down on you. Because what you say about you matters more than what others say about you. What you tell yourself matters more than what that person who doesn't love you says about you. Delilah used this trick on Samson and was tormenting him and then started using all the theory and manipulative ways and telling him, you don't love me, you don't love me. Yeah, someone could be in your life who doesn't even love you back, but they are the ones that keep telling you that you don't love them. And that's manipulation. That's a narcissist who only think about themselves. What are you to do in this situation? Focus on yourself. Find a love energy for yourself. And that self-love, you don't have to approach it in a negative form. You have to approach it in a healthy way. God didn't even tell you to love someone more than you love you. Even if it's in a relationship. By the time you start loving someone more than you love yourself, it's an error. You don't love someone at the expense of yourself. You can only love someone when you already have love for you. So God never asked you to love someone at the expense of yourself. You were not supposed to hate you to love someone. You were supposed to know you, value you before you can love someone. So get to this place of loving yourself so that any love you're giving to anybody, it will be from a healthy place and then you will not be used or manipulated for it. I hope this video has been beneficial to you. Thank you so much for watching this video to the end. I hope you love the contents of this video. Let me hear from you what you do when you love someone that doesn't love you back or what should be done when you love someone that doesn't love you back. Subscribe to this channel, give it a thumbs up and see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, bye, bye.